Hey guys, Max here at E3, and I'm at the uh, WB Games booth, and I just got to see Injustice, Gods Among Us, and I'm with Adam Urbano, who's the game's senior producer from NetherRealm Studios. What, this game sounds really pretty serious, Injustice, Gods Among Us, but it's actually, what is this about? Uh, so this is NetherRealm's take on the DC universe. So we, we decided to have this great opportunity to work with DC, and so we took this gritty approach to making a superhero game where it's not just a fighting game between two characters, it's a fighting game where the backgrounds matter, so it's a chance for us to totally sort of try and reinvent the genre for a, a new era. It's, it's superheroes beating the shit out of each other, isn't it? Also that, yeah. Yeah, you guys have, you, it's, it's pretty impressive. Uh, it, it's Mortal Kombat with Batman and Superman, it's, and you gotta, you got the environments, which is a big thing here. Could you explain how that works? Yeah, so that's the, that's the big new creative thing we're doing for this game. The environment that you pick and where you are in the environment matters just as much as the characters you pick. So you're going to be able to, one big strong character like Solomon Grundy will be able to pick up a car and slam it on your opponent while another character like Batman might use his batarangs to make the car explode. So each environment is filled with tons of different little things to interact with that are actually part of the fight. Uh, one thing you, you mentioned in the demo is how uh, being backed into a corner here doesn't always work to one's advantage. Correct. So usually in a fighting game, being in a corner, worst place to be. In this particular demo we're showing in Batcave, there's a good example where there's a big red button you hit that fires off missiles from the Batmobile that'll hit somebody coming at you. So you can get out of the corner. Maybe being in the corner is actually to your advantage. And there's ways around it, and there's balance issues that we're obviously dealing with, but every single place in the environment has a meaning. It's a place to be, it's a thing to do, and it's, it, it, that environment matters. Nobody puts Batman in the corner. No, I love, uh, I love that they've, they've got these massive, massive uh, areas to fight in, and they're all interconnected, and there's these, uh, these cinematic things. How, describe to the people at home how cool that is. Yeah, it, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, so essentially, rather than, we wanted it to feel like a battle of these gods, right? They're superheroes. So each environment contains multiple areas, and it's not just a pretty little transition. It's a big, huge environment and this amazing cinematic moment to get to another part of the environment, and that new part's gonna have totally different objects to play with, different background elements to interact with. It actually means something where you are. Some have two stages, some have three. I mean, the game itself is huge. One, uh, one level we saw was the, was the Batcave, but in that we saw the Flash get knocked into three different areas. Does, do those three different areas count as part of the Batcave, or is it like this is one giant, giant stage? So Batcave has two. So there's an upper Batcave and a lower Batcave. We also showed Future City, which is what we're calling it, which has three separate areas. That one is one environment, but it happens to have three full-length play fields, three full environments built into that one environment. That's crazy. And on the uh, on the stage select screen, I, I saw 15. Is that is that correct? I actually don't know. No, I mean that's an honest answer. That stage select screen is just for E3, so there's going to be a lot of environments. Okay, well that's cool. I I like the part where the superhero punched the other superhero into outer space. Uh, what other kind of like crazy super moves are we going to see here? Yeah, so we're building super moves that are specific to each character. So you, you're talking about Superman's where he punches somebody into space. Another great example is Flash. He's known for being really fast because he's the Flash. So he starts off a move by charging up, he then runs completely around the world, and you see this great shot of the Earth and him running around just to build up steam for one big, huge punch on his opponent. So that's, each character is gonna have something like that tailored to their own personality. That is badass. What, uh, how many characters are we looking at for a roster? Are you willing to talk about that? Or? Yeah, it's about the same size as MK. You know, we're looking for a large roster. We really think it's important to make sure that all the fan favorites are there, so about MK size. And this is this is strictly DC. We're not going to see any crossover stuff. Nope. This is this is DC. This is our chance to play in that world. There's no crossover. It's DC. Okay. Are we are are, are we going to see alternate costumes per chance? Maybe more of a classic look than the uh, the, the crazy armored badass stuff. Yeah. I mean, there, there'll definitely be plenty of an opportunity for us to play with all costumes and things like that. And Ed has already talked about some of the things he'd like to do. But yeah. And this is, uh, you're looking at this for uh, PS3, 360, and recently announced the Wii U. Uh, what's going on there? PS3 360 Wii U, yeah, they announced at the show, so Wii U, the Wii U version, we're not talking about any of the special features or anything, but it's coming to that too. It's the worst, I hate asking questions about the Wii U, that's terrible. Um, are you doing anything special with the multiplayer? Obviously it's a fighting game, so there's a lot going on there. Yep. Uh, multiplayer is going to be awesome, like that's a blanket statement, but we're taking everything we put into MK9, we're rebuilding it, we're taking the things that we did right and doing them better, we're taking the things we did bad and not doing those again, so we're going to make multiplayer be the experience we want it to be. Very cool. And who's your who's your favorite DC character? My favorite DC character in the game right now is Superman. Uh, so when's this coming out? You say 2013. Can you have a anything anything less of a ballpark estimate than that? No. 
Oh, well, there you go. Well, thank you so much for talking. Thank you very much. Injustice, God's Among Us, it's, it's, the, it's the taking your Superman toys and bashing them together and making them fight. It's, it's pretty cool. It's definitely appealed to the inner eight-year-old in me. You guys can keep track of all of our E3 coverage. We're going to have an impressions piece up on this uh, on this channel as well. Also, go check out our coverage on YouTube.com slash Detoid. We're going to be here all week. We've got tons of videos. Video games are cool. I like to punch stuff. See you guys later.